most people in America are looking for how to make a life worth living in retirement having. When we talk about this, we talk about the realities of life that every day a person has to eat. So when I do my food ministry, I say it's pretty simple. Everyone has to eat. Unless, of course, you prefer to feed animals and geese like I do over people. But some person might think that, but that's not true. You see, as people of the world, as people of the Lord, we are responsible for caring for our environment. A pagan always cares for their environment, and they care for their environment because they can. They don't have to care for their environment. They don't want to care for their environment, but they do care for their environment. And when they care for their environment, the environment is then cared for. We have a lot of creatures that people don't see. I'm one of those guys who wakes up and find a spider has decided to sit by down beside me. And as much as I enjoy that nursery rhyme, that nursery rhyme was to teach children to be wary of creatures that are small. Even a daddy long legs that little boys like to pull legs off of, which isn't very ethical in any way, should be killed because of what they can do to suck blood from a baby. And I don't want to say that too loud because a 10-year-old bastard little boy might just try to do that to someone. And that's a lie that they tell themselves, that they had the right to do something to a little one. A parent is immoral and is illegal if they leave a child unattended in a vehicle and openly with the vehicle running stupidest thing I've ever seen. I see it all the time in the community in which I'm in. The liars of America will pick up a puppy and care for it more than they'll care for their child. That, too, is immoral. We should always be loving and kind to children, regardless of their age, and we should always be loving and kind to the animals that we domesticate. But at the same time, we have an environment, and that environment full of animals and creatures and birds, great and small, are a part of our world. They do the unseen things, they help to move things, they help to clean things, they help to deplete things, and we need them today.